Oh, 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 yeah, you found it. Hang on. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in a boneyard this morning. Look at these trucks. Uno, dos, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like eleven trucks here. And he's got some trailers. And then he's got some way over there. They may run. But this guy has got a Mac that I'm interested in looking at. I bought a truck one time from Shelton in Alsa, of Florida. It was an R model day cab truck. And I run it for years. It must have been like 86 or 7 when I bought it. It's been a long time ago. Got a little tire issue right there. But the trouble with this one was the front differential. You can tell it's been out of there for a while. I think the guy bought it to put it on the road for this company. And before he got through with it, I believe he passed away. Uh oh, there's a wall. I believe before he got through with it, he passed away. And I've got a man that's interested in these Macs. As you know on some of the videos, if you've watched them, we've had one real difficult Mac to crank, an 077R model. But we haven't given up on it yet. Just stay tuned. Hopefully we can get it where to load and unload itself. But you can tell the suspension is a little bit different on this. Maybe for the ride. But we're going to check this thing out. See what the difference is. That's right. Safety first, guys. All right. Let's see what we got in here. He had another shop maybe 12 miles down the road. He sold that shop and he moved them all here to his piece of property here. And notice he put down all of his tarps, which was very smart, and just set them on there. That's why we're not really wading in a, a bunch of briars and things like that. But it looks like a five-speed maxi torque. Well, it is a five-speed because that's what it says. It's amazing that these trucks, um, five speeds would do it, is what I'm thinking. To say this, you know, to keep the speed and all that. Let's see, it's got. I'm gonna try to get up here in it. 521,000 miles on it. Uh, looked like his last date was November of 06 which really goes with the tag. I mean, this is really not a bad looking truck on the inside, really. I'm sure as we dig deeper, oh yeah, look at that footrest for the, for the heel of his boot. I'm gonna go see if we can find a tag receipt just to see about what year this thing is. Oh yeah, well here it is. Here's the information right here. It is a CH-13. I can't tell by the VIN number, but I believe the CH model, all you Mac guys can tell me, I believe the CH model replaced the R model because they're very similar. They just rounded off the hood and uh, just done a body work, but let's see what ER's tank is, give us an idea. I'm gonna guess it's like a 91 model. I don't know if that's the date, but that says 91. I'm going with it anyway. Hood's in good, oh yeah. Last portion, 2007. So the the calendar in the truck really lines up with the, maybe the last day it ran. So that was what, 16 years ago maybe? Yeah, you could tell they was, they was pulling flatbeds with it. There's all their tarps and truck number 434. To anybody who was at Shelton Trucking Services that may have drove this truck or know the one that drove the truck. Tell them we found our old truck. Let's see. Well, that ain't. Yeah, that's a glove box. That ain't, yeah. That's a fuse box. Oops. So 
much for that. Thought we might find the insurance card or something. They probably got it up here somewhere. Now there's some, uh, let's see, oh, hold on, uh, Ben Gay. Nothing new for a truck driver, right? Shelton, Port of Panama City. That's some neat, that's some neat information there. All right, let's pop the hood and see what's up with that. Oh gosh, the key's not in it. And I bet you it's electronic. All right, we're gonna get this hood pulled over. See what engine this guy in it. All right, there it is. There's, you know, that's what we got to worry about this time of year is the wash nest. You know, filters look good. Baldwin filters. Everything's there on the starter, which is a plus. There's the information on the tag. I do see a 1991 model right there. But it's really clean in here. Really clean. Let's go around to the other side. See what that looks like. Don't look like any rats has been uh, chewing on it. Yeah, it's going to be elect electric. But I think we could probably run a jumper wire and click the pump on. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Let's check the oil in this thing. Well, it's just a tad low. Let's see about that again. I might better go get some oil before I start this thing. It's not on the stick, but I guess before I go do that, I can see if I can get it and see if it'll bump over. Uh, you know, it's, you just never know till you, till you try it, if they're stuck, not stuck. But like I told you, I think the reason he parked it was because of the differential tore up on him and I don't think it had any any engine issues. All that seems to be intact. Let's get back over here to the batteries and see what we're gonna have to have. As far as batteries go, I got two. We'll cobble something together. Had to stop by the uh, Harbor Freight and get me some, oh yeah. Get me some vice grips. I'll probably go borrow some jumpers off some of these other trucks. If I don't have any. That's the good thing about being with Hank when you get on a job. He, he's got everything you need on Black Betty. Let's check the fuel. Good gosh. My Lord. Jacob. I'm telling you, some of these things. You remember we had that 544 John Deere we couldn't get loose. And here's another one. I'm on a scavenger hunt looking for something I can hook these batteries up with. See if I can catch a battery box this open and let's see if they left some jumper or not. Let's try this old wobble here. You know. uh, nothing. On to the next one. Mm, nothing. Now right here used to set a a Volvo I couldn't I, I put the the buyer and the seller together but I didn't have my camera with me that day and he come picked it up it's our buddies over at Mock and they actually got that Detroit running but they needed the radiator the radiator out of it but they was fooling around with it and they got the old Detroit engine running this guy probably had 50 trucks on the road at one time and I'm sure all these trucks just was giving him so much fit that he just took them off it was cost and just got him some new ones different ones maybe not new ones that's what they're doing here and that's why I kept them for the parts he's the only Mac I've seen was the one we're trying to start today but lots of Volvos and an international. It looks like it may rain. Let me, enough of the talking. Let's get these batteries and figure out how to get the, get them hooked together. 
All right, let's get these batteries out of here. All right, let's go try this. It's got some fire, like it switched on. And these batteries are probably weak because I've been using them and hadn't charged them. Okay, that might be difficult right there. There may be an issue. Well, let's just hook this. Like this. Got a dome light going on. Oh, I wish we had a key. But let's just see what we can do with what we got. Let's see if we got any fire here. See what it'll do. Well, there's nothing. All right, right here, Jacob, put you. Oh. We know the engine ain't locked up, so I just shorted it out right here. All right. Wow. All right, it's not locked up, but we got to get the, we got to get the fire, make sure we got fire to the pump, and this thing's gonna crank right up, no doubt. You want to sit right here and let me see if you can hear something click when I... Nothing over here. I had a roll of wire. Let me see if I can find it, Jacob. This is what I'm looking for. The strangest thing, it was right where I put it. Hear that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if that's it. We got power, that got us power to the dash now. That thing just might start right up, Jacob. Oh, 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 yeah, you found it. Hang on. Okay. Uh, just not right now. All right. Come on. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, I right, see if it'll spin. Okay. Yeah. Just come on with it. It'll be good. No, no buzzards in there anymore. There's something buzzing in here, but the light's off. Okay. I'm going to reposition this cable, and that could have been the trouble right here. Just a minute. Oh, you there, people. Hmm. That's not good. You know, we, we may have batteries on the other side of this uh, because the buzz are still going. And if those batteries are still up, that would be absolutely amazing. But there's a little bit of fire in them because the buzz are still running. I'm going to see if I can now just get these kind of hooked up with the vice grips. Be right back. I don't think we're getting it turned on, but uh, let's spin it over and see what happens. Oh. Did that thing just... Oh. Did that just burn off there? All right, try that. Okay. It's like this burn off of this little solenoid right here. Yeah, try that. Okay. Hang on. All right, spin that over. I wonder, we may have to go find the key, Jacob, because I don't know that, uh, I know I'll have to fix that. These things sit up so long. 
keys get lost and I should be able to hear that clicking. Look at this thing. Good Lord have mercy. Mr. Armstrong, November of 06 is when this thing expired. It? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go back and try to find the key from the owner. We know it's not locked up. I need to get some oil. Get some batteries that's got the studs in them instead of this right here. It's probably got two on the other side because I'm sure, well, it's probably got room enough for three in here. Put three batteries on it where it's spin good. I don't know if you gotta have the key and maybe it turns on some electric pumps to fuel pumps to put pressure to it. I don't know how these electronic engines work, but I know we're not getting anything. It didn't even want to hit off ether, and I put enough ether in it that it should lock up. Well, another Mac, another bust, but y'all come back. We're going to get something started for long. And remember, don't be wily.